Oh, good morning, rooster. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today on Flat Tire Farm. The sun is out today. It's 20 degrees out today, which is why it's sweatshirt weather for us. Now it's the end of February, and the sun is just starting to get high enough in the horizon that we can use our solar system. You can see we have a small solar system back there. We're completely off grid. So I wanted to show you how we take advantage of the free power today. These are our solar panels. We just have four, four little solar panels. The sun doesn't even get high enough on the horizon to get to those guys. What are you doing, Cuckoo? She likes to climb and be on top of this mound of snow. This is like our yard, and it is, I don't know, four feet, four feet off the ground. That snow is, it's just covered everything. The only place that's down to ground level is the driveway right now. So that we can get in and out, and then in the spring it'll all melt. And we'll be able to access our property better, but she is quite enjoying the elevated yard. <laughs> Well, it's definitely morning on the farm because there's pigs on the loose. Hi, Albert. What are you doing? It's not your breakfast time yet, buddy. Yeah? You come to say hi to everybody? Huh? Oh, boy. Everybody's out. Juniper, uh-uh. Good girl. Oh, boy. <laughs> Always with the pigs on the loose, huh? Why don't you guys just stay in your home? Need a hand with some crazies? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Juniper. Come on, girl. Those pigs are too big for you, lady. Oh. Good news. Daddy and the pig wranglers to the rescue. Oh, uh-huh. I'll get these girls. Keep going. Come on, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got to be faster than the pigs and cut them off with the path. Ah, ah. There you are. Look at that. You're the pig herder of the highest order. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Thanks, honey. Oh. Griffin, don't eat the plastic bags. Griffin! No, 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 babies. You can't eat the plastic bags. Paper is fine. Yeah, paper or plastic. You can have paper, but not plastic. Hi! Hi, Griffy! Good morning. Yeah, you're into morning mischief already. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Okay, so our solar panels are mounted flat on the side of our house and not on our roof. One, because the snow would just completely obliterate them up there. But because of our latitude and the shoulder seasons, the sun doesn't come up very high. And so in order to get any solar gain, the solar panels need to be um, upright. Even though the sun is significantly higher in the summer, we'll still get lots of solar gain, even though this orientation of the solar panels won't be perfect for a summer sun rays. But there's so much sun in the summer and so many hours of daylight that we'll have plenty of power even without adjusting their angle. Okay, we're down in the crawl space now where the power system is. We have a 2000 watt system, which means at any moment we cannot use more than 2000 watts of power, otherwise the system shuts down. It, you just restart it, it's not an emergency situation. Here's our little power system. This is most definitely Mr. Reeves' part of the world. The batteries are charging because little lights are blinking. That's about as cool as I get. But Mr. Reeve did tell me how to read this um, charge controller to be able to tell how much power are we getting from the sun. And I'm not sure if it's going to show up or not, but right here it says we're getting 0 0.530 kilowatts of power from the sun right now. So that's 530 watts. Now 530 watts is enough to run three and a half refrigerators. So it's a lot of power. Right now the sun is powering a full-size chest freezer, 22 cubic foot chest freezer a full-size fridge and freezer, all the lights in our house, um, and everything that we need, and giving enough power to be able to charge the batteries also, so that when the sun goes down, we have power available without having to run the generator. 
Well, Mr. Reeve and I are fairly conservative when it comes to energy usage. When we built this house and thought about how would we, how would we live off grid, we really thought about what could we do to reduce our energy usage. And in the winter time, energy usage means filling up the generator and paying for fuel, which right now is a huge expense. It, however, it is still less of an expense than the electricity and natural gas bill for our big 2200 square foot house that we moved out of. So, but still, it is, a, it is our only energy expense. We're gonna use every drop of sunshine that we can because that's every drop of fuel we don't have to buy. When we decided to go off grid, we knew that we needed lots of rechargeable devices. So, here's our little charging station. Kind of have everything plugged into this multi-plug-in thing here. We use these little, I think I got 10 bucks at Walmart, best little phone chargers. It's just an extra a battery charger for your, for your phone. You plug it in, charge it up, and then you can take it with you. You just use your little lightning cord or whatever you have for your phone. Plug it in, and it charges your phone. So um, I'll charge my phone at night, and I will plug my phone into this while I sleep, and it charges at night, and I don't have to use, uh, I don't have to draw anything from our big batteries downstairs. I can also plug this in in my truck on the way to work and that keeps it charged also. Here's our drone is charging. Here's Mr. Reeves' um, Olight headset that he likes to wear every morning for chores. I'm gonna put that link in the description below. Here's my little Bluetooth speaker that I use. I like to listen to audiobooks. And then this is an Eneloop, uh, Eneloop batteries and fancy charger. Um, Jeremy from Guildbrook Farms, I'm not sure if it's even Guildbrook Farms anymore, um, but he did a really great video on living off grid and and the benefit of of getting these Eneloop batteries. I'll put a link in the description below for those batteries, but I'm also gonna put a link to his video at the end um, of this video just because it's really good information. This is the charger for um, the milk machine. You could get a battery a battery powered one or um, a, like an AC powered one. We decided that we wanted to do everything battery powered. Using battery powered devices gives us the most ability to control our resources. We'll also make sure our phones are charged up as well as the battery pack for the shower head. Because we get all these things charged up when the sun is out, it means that when the sun is not out and we're drawing on the battery storage power, all we're really powering is a fridge, a chest freezer, and a couple of LED lights that we use. There are a couple appliances that we have that we only run when the generator is running or when we have an abundance of solar power like we do today. That is uh, the microwave, which you would probably expect. It uses a thousand watts of power, but also the vacuum. You might think a vacuum doesn't use that much power, but our vacuum uses 1200 watts of power and it's just a regular old vacuum. Um, a fridge uses about 120 watts and a vacuum 1200, strange, right? The other thing you might find surprising that uses a lot of power, which surprised me also, and I was actually pretty disappointed about it, is our gas stove. And that we have it converted over to propane, but the stove top doesn't use very much power, but the oven does because it has a heating element instead of like a spark system. So in order to maintain the temperature of the oven, it has kicking on all the time and it uses a whole lot of power. Um, Someday I'll get a different kind of stove that doesn't use that much power. We can run the oven off the battery storage uh, power no problem. But if I'm going to do something like baking, like I thought I might make cookies today, if I don't run out of time, that would today would be a great day to do it because I'm not drawing all of that energy from the batteries. I'll just drop right from the sun for free. Hope my little video was helpful for you today. Don't forget to watch that video from Jeremy at Guildbrook about the Antelope batteries. And I will talk to you later. i got to get vacuuming while the sun's still up. Thank you.